Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is about hub for studying. We are talking about the three plus one kind of apps that you should use if you want to bring your study method to another level. So let's begin. First, I want to explain why I'm suggesting these kinds of apps. Everything is based on how you study. More specifically, I'm talking about the studying process that you use, starting from following the lecture to memorizing the topics. My studying process consists of four steps. Step number one, take notes, comments and recordings. I take notes during my lecture and I guess you do the same. Write down the most you can, trying to understand. At the same time, take notes of everything. I write comments that could be useful to you, but sometimes because of tenderness, bad mood, wrong day, you miss pieces that could be necessary to understand. That's why I'm used to recording the lessons so I can review them later without losing information. So the first app you need is an app that are built for the purpose. Record the voice while you are taking notes. There are several apps for taking notes but not all of them can record audio. I use an app called Notability mostly because of this feature which is incredibly important during the reviewing process. You can even choose to use other apps and record with an external device but it requires extra work for you. While Notability do this for you inside the app. Step number two, reviewing. Once you have understood and decided which part must remember, then it's time to make reviews. While I'm studying, I mark all the parts I want to remember, or the part is difficult to memorize, and the aim is to remember this part as long as I can. One of the biggest mistakes you can do is to believe that if you know the topic and remember it straight away, then you don't need to repeat it anymore. Don't do these mistakes. Our brain forgets really quickly and we don't want to arrive at the exam date remembering only a few things. We want to remember everything or at least as much as we can, so I use an app that tells me when it's time to review each topic. You need an app based on spaced repetitions. The app I use is called Enki, where I store all the information and it tells me when it's time to repeat an argument. It's awesome. These kind of apps are the most important. You must have one of them. Step number three, mind mapping. In the beginning all your papers are well organized you have a clear idea of what you're studying but what about after one month what about after two months you could be overwhelmed of notes and doubts books topics comments to avoid confusion i'm used to creating mind maps these powerful instruments are incredibly useful to keep your ideas well organized starting from the main idea you can create a three with some subject, so you don't have to fight to know where you are. There are dozens of apps that help you to create mind maps. I use a ThoughtX, it's cheap, easy to use and has enough instruments to build your maps. Step number four, connect your resources. I want to be honest, uh, you can avoid this app if you don't have several sources of information. This is the plus one app I've mentioned in the title. Let me explain. Uh, I've been studying math for two years and most of the time for a single topic I use sources like teachers and doubts, textbooks, consultant books, exercises books, online resources, just for one topic. It's really easy to get lost with all these different fonts. So, to keep things organized, I use an app that lets me store all the resources together and I can create a sort of mind map where I can find all the pieces in the same place. I'm using two apps for this purpose, honestly. Magic Note 3 and Liquid Text. I don't even know if there are alternatives. To sum up, you need an app for taking notes and recordings, an app for specific repetition, an app for mind mapping, and an optional app to connect resources. These are 
will help you to study better and faster. Let me know in the comments down below which app you use and what is your studying process. If you like this video, give me a thumb up and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.